Hello there, you beautiful people. Today we are reviewing the full mechanic 1100 Gundam Aerial from Witch from Mercury series. This is one beautiful, strong, independent Gundam lady. Yes, this is a female Gundam. And it's beautiful. Look at these curves, these shapes, th that tiny waist, that beautiful face. Amazing! So let's check out the unboxing. All right, and here is the unboxing. Look at that beautiful box with that amazing illustration on the front. Really nice. On the side, you have the lady pilot of this Gundam. Uh, on the other side, you have some nice poses without stand once more the pilot and on this side we have some gimmicks that the kit has and you have those bad stickers i'm gonna review them later they are really bad i don't like them you have some yellow and blue nice and look at that metallic red oh my god i love this color i wish i could replicate it some white some dark gray, some red, not many runners on this kit, but it's okay because it's a really nice build, it's a really smooth build. And this is the manual, the manual is detailed, it's really nicely made, it doesn't tell you which runners uh, you need for which parts, but the runners are few anyway, so it's okay there. And you have the gimmicks on the back and you have some sticker mapping also and this is some information on the Gundam and here is the finished product a really nice smooth build look how beautiful it came up I panel lined everything I I put some stickers that it came with and I painted uh, metallic red blue and some parts gold let's check out some articulation the foot moves nicely left and right the toe moves really far away and you have two parts movement on the toe that's nice that front guard moves a little bit front and left once more the feet left and right and look at that knee bend oh isn't that beautiful it's a three part knee bend everything move, moves smoothly look at that front part I painted metallic red the sides of that yellow parts in the knee and look at that bend isn't that beautiful it moves in a three part and this is the most amazing knee bend that I have seen in a Gundam we it goes all the way you gotta appreciate a lady that goes all the way and you have that uh, side skirts which uh, they move and they can come off to make the shield I'm gonna show you the shield later the front skirt moves a little bit front and uh, back the hands uh, have this thumb articulation only one one joint thumb articulation and you have two types of hands they're holding the gun hands and the fist they're nice and they move 360 the elbow moves uh, also front and back really smoothly no complaints there that part comes off really easily you have the shoulder pads the shoulders move up and down and you have uh, two articulation points on the shoulders I painted that part metallic blue as you can see 
that part came off again. The shoulders move front and back really nicely. That's a really nice joint over there. And the most amazing thing on this kit, look at that ab movement, front and back. Look at that. It even beats the Thunderbolt on that uh, waist movement. Look how beautiful it is. It, it does that S curve movement on the waist. I was really surprised. Not, not much side movement, but front and back, all the way, baby. This is the back backpack. You have the saber hang handles on the backpack. Really nice, they move up and down. That beautiful yellow. I also painted the whole backpack uh, metallic blue. I left some of the original blue on the kit. You can see the two tones. Metallic red, I painted the waist and the shoulders over there. The back skirt, which uh, is a part of the shield. And look at that red piping that I painted metallic red. Oh, looks really nice. I painted the heel silver too. It came up really nice. And these are... You can attach these to the ass of the Gundam Aerial, like that. They look nice, but they're not stable. And uh, if you s look at them from the side, they look hollow and bad. And they can ca come off really easily. I was really disappointed with that. But whatever, I painted the silver parts also. This is how the shield looks. Assembled all together with all the parts. It's nice, but I'm not gonna keep uh, the shield. I'm gonna use the part separately on the kit. So this is the gun. The gun was all gray, by, but I painted it silver. And I gave it the blue, red and yellow that the kit has to match uh, a little bit the colors of the kit. I think it came up nice, I, I need to clean some red on the sides, but uh, it's okay, it's better than the original, that for sure. And these are the blue saber parts, which I'm not gonna use, cause they don't look so nice. I don't know, they look cheap. And this one goes on the gun. You can attach it in the front of the gun like that. But I'm not gonna do it, cause uh, it looks cheap once again. Here's the comparison between the high grade and the full mechanics. Here's the high grade, looks uh, okay. Little bit on the dwarf side, and this is the beautiful full mechanics. Look, look how more, how, look how much more detail, detailed it is, and how much bigger it is. It's really nice. I really like the full me mechanic version of this kit. These are the bad, bad stickers that I don't really like. They could have included some uh, water slides, but now they wanted to give you these shitty stickers. Don't use them. And here it is on a stand, on a platform. It looks really, really nice. I really like that design. It's really simple. It doesn't have a lot of stuff inside the kit, but it's nice, nice colors. I painted some details, so therefore it looks nicer. But still, it's a beautiful kit. It's a beautiful Lady Gundam. And it's a real smooth build. And the plastic quality, as always, from Bandai, it's top notch. I mean, I have no complaints. Other than it's, uh, uh, it's a little bit plain and the back skirt looks a little bit uh, um, bad. Other than that, this kit, it's really beautiful. I love it. 
and uh, it's relatively cheap it's 55 i found it 55 euros uh, originally i think it's 60 or 65 it's still expensive don't get me wrong but it's a nice kit to have so i really recommend it go buy it if you can so thank you for watching next time we have a daban kit a third party kit so stay tuned for my next video thank you for watching and see ya Someday.